Now let us take a look at the versions of the Clipple QC software. Since scalability is a major requirement for a price efficient test solution, the Clipple QC software provides different license levels. The QC Basic software is available in two versions for different applications. The default version provides the most frequently required measurements for fast electroacoustic QC tests based on combined sound pressure and impedance task with the Clipple Analyzer hardware. The QC Basic special application software, in contrast, is focusing on general transfer function, noise and vibration testing based on spectrum analysis task. To benefit from all unique features of Clipple QC, the standard version is based on the same software framework, but enhanced by advanced features, setting new standards in speaker and audio system testing. It can be used for testing with Clipple Analyzer or third-party audio devices. It includes four different test step types, providing various stimuli and result parameters. The maximum test sequence length is unrestricted compared to QC Basic. QC standard supports both statistical limit calculation and based on a reference data pool. Golden DOTs are identified automatically. The patented ambient noise detection feature is included in this version. Sweep speed profiles provide unmatched test speed at maximum sensitivity. For operating one of the plenty add-on modules such as air leak detection or motor and suspension check, QC standard is required. Many of the previously mentioned process control features are included for free in QC standard. Finally, wireless and open loop testing requires a QC standard or a standalone license. The QC standalone version provides a very similar feature set, but unlike the QC standard, it is dedicated for testing without Clipple analyzer hardware. This version only requires a license dongle and can be applied for open loop or closed loop testing with any third party sound card or even based on WAV files only. The QC remote configuration license is dedicated for test and limit setups for many PC without test hardware connected. Also, customers of the Clipple R&D system can benefit from the QC test tasks by purchasing individual module licenses. QC standard is the most versatile and powerful software package that meets the demands of most test applications. The following components are included. Clipple DBLab is the main framework and measurement software shared by all applications of the Clipple Analyzer system. The QC Start is a dedicated tool to manage and access test sequences with dedicated engineer and operator access. It provides access to test templates, the most common tools such as device calibration and provides barcode interface for test selection. The actual test sequence is a composition of various different test and auxiliary steps, the so-called tasks. The following tasks are included in QC standard. Sound pressure, SPL. Main acoustic measurement step based on sine sweep stimulus. Impedance, IMP, impedance and telesmall parameter measurement. Sound pressure and impedance, SPL plus IMP, combined measurement of acoustical response and impedance parameters. Spectrum analysis, SAN, spectrum and frequency response measurement using noise or custom signals provided uh, via wave file. Post-processing task processes results measured by previous test steps. For example, the difference curve between left and right. The control task uh, is a framework task taking care of serial number handling, global routing, data logging, and many more. Preconditioning, pre-excitation without measurement for dot conditioning. For example, for ferrofluid tweeters, for woofer break-in or electronics wake-up. And finally, the I.O. task. This is a tool for conditional interaction with the operator or hard and software environment. Additional so-called feature libraries provide less common custom features. The yield statistics and uh, DB extract tools provide means for simple statistical analysis and flexible data export to other third-party software tools like Microsoft Excel. So how does a typical hardware test setup scenario look like? Here is a sketch of a typical transducer test. First of all, we have the analyzer hardware, in most cases, a Clipple Analyzer 3. We need at least one test microphone in the DOT's uh, near field. An external power amplifier can be added in case the power or peak 
voltage provided by the internal amplifier of the analyzer is insufficient. A Windows PC with the Clipple QC software is connected to the analyzer. An optional test enclosure is highly recommended for ambient noise attenuation and defined test conditions. Additional robustness, however, is obtained by adding an ambient noise microphone. Now let us focus on the actual test results provided by the QC software. First of all, there are acoustical or output-based results that are obtained from different stimuli such as chirp, noise, multitone or even custom wave file stimuli. The first category is related to the frequency response and output spectrum. It includes the actual frequency response of transfer function, the impulse response, sensitivity and band average levels, phase and polarity, FFT spectrum, sound pressure level, this can be A-weighted optionally, and finally we have DC displacement and envelope measured with a laser sensor. The second category is very important for QC testing since it is related to any kind of nonlinear distortion and abnormal sound caused by defects. This includes THD, on an absolute or relative scale, second to fifth uh, individual harmonic, the so-called rub and bus, it's the impulse of distortion, higher order harmonic distortion, high two distortion, incoherence, multitone distortion, modulation related to air leakage, and finally spectrogram distortion in time frequency plots. The electrical measurement at the Dutch terminal yields impedance and fitted electroacoustic model parameters for transducers as well as systems such as closed box or vented assemblies. Basic impedance characteristics are impedance magnitude and phase, of course, point and band values of the impedance magnitude, and the minimum impedance. Based on the impedance magnitude and phase, linear parameters are determined, such as Tealess small parameters, some of the most famous are RE, FS, QTS, and so on. There are even vented box parameters uh, like QB and FB, that's a unique feature. And we have additional Tealess small parameters from optional laser measurement like BL, MMS, and so on. Even powerful nonlinear parameters such as voice coil offset, stiffness asymmetry, and Xmax for electrodynamic or balanced armature offset for balanced armature transducers can be tested at the production line. This again is a unique feature of the Clipple QC. There is an abundance of optional hardware accessories available to complement the typical QC hardware set, such as uh, cables, microphones, power amplifiers, QR and barcode scanners, a manual sweep controller, climate sensors for monitoring temperature and humidity, signal multiplexers to switch the signal routing, headphone test stands in variant forms and sizes, ear and mouth simulators, sound sources, laser sensors, suspension part test benches, GPIB interfaces, a Bluetooth interface. Finally, the QC standard software can be flexibly extended by various unique test tasks add-on features or post-processing tools to take your QC testing to the next level. Here is a list of the most popular options. First, we have the test tasks. These are additional test steps that can be added to your test sequence. We have the motor and suspension check. It's the sibling of the famous Clipple LSI of the R&D system for nonlinear parameter testing, such as uh, voice call offset. The BAC, balanced armature check, is the same principle, but it is dedicated to balanced armature transducers. The LST, the linear suspension check, is dedicated to the compliance check of suspension parts and passive radiators. The MTD, the multitone distortion, uses multitone signals to measure fundamental and multitone distortion. The ALD and ALS air leak detection and stethoscope detect air leaks in transducers and audio systems. The EXD external devices is dedicated to the integration and control of external lab and test equipment such as GPIB and Bluetooth radio. The equalization and alignment is used for automatic or assistant adjustment of user-defined level or frequency response. 
then we have some so-called add-ons or we can call it plugins for extending the capabilities of the standard test tasks. We have the MHC, the meter hearing technology dedicated to defect detection beyond human hearing. It is an add-on for the SPL task. The PNI production noise immunity extends the noise detection feature of the QC standard to cope with the noisy environment. It applies also to the SPL task. The ALD and sweep is the same technology as the standalone heretic detection task, but here it is the integration into the chirp measurement of the SPL task. Also, the 3DL is an extension for the SPL task. It's powerful intuitive defect testing based on auditory time frequency spectrogram. The DCX is a dynamic excursion check and control. It can measure the AC and DC displacement uh, with the laser sensor during the chirp measurement. Then we have an add-on for the impedance task. It's the TSX, the TS parameter laser fitting. This is simply an extension of the normal impedance measurement with laser tests like the Clipl LPM. This helps you to measure the full TLA small parameter set in the production. The SIN external synchronization is required for synchronizing any kind of close or open loop tests using digital or wired audio devices as well as for triggering open loop tests, for example, through wave files. The high 2 distortion is just the amplitude response of weighted harmonic distortion components. And finally, we have post-processing tools that are standalone applications for processing your result data. We have the match speaker tool, the MSP. It helps you finding the best matching pairs from a pool of speakers automatically. Uh, the STAT, the statistics, is a universal tool for statistical overview of Kilpel measurement data, pool-based visualization for quick assessment of variances and comparisons between data pools, as well as limit tuning. Now let us wrap it up and summarize the key benefits and features of Kilpel QC. What are the benefits? It is dedicated to 100% production testing. It provides the best performance cost ratio. It provides means for process control in order to maximize yield and to fulfill the requirements of lean manufacturing. Testing is more reliable than the human ear with the Club LQC. It provides all means for comprehensive defect detection and the operation is simple and intuitive. And finally, the results are compatible to the Clipple R&D system. All in all, it's a flexible and modular solution to match your company's needs. So one of the main features, ultra-fast testing at the physical limits is the clear goal. The QC can measure the most relevant electroacoustic test parameters. For rub and bus and uh, abnormal sound defect testing, it provides the highly sensitive rub and bus metrics. Ambient noise detection makes sure that you don't have any false rejects at the same time. Easy limit calculation, grading, and limit import help you setting up your chest limits properly. The software works with the Clipple analyzer and with any WDM or ASIO devices, or even with audio files for open loop testing. We have customizable test sequences and a lot of powerful add-ons. The dedicated operator and engineer access levels make sure that everyone has the right operation surface. The automatic detection of golden reference units helps you finding your best matching average units in the production. Production indexes, process control rules, yield and single value statistics help you keeping track of your process statistics. The QC can be simply and flexibly integrated into your assembly line. And finally, all the measurements, or most of them, are compliant to the IEC 6268-21 and 22. Stay tuned and watch part number two of this video to learn more about the look and feel of Clipple QC in a practical demonstration of a basic transducer test application.